Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at the interdependence of the four key business functions, operations, marketing, finance, and human resources. So looking at how are they all linked together? How do they all work together to achieve the business's goals? Um, so first, we're going to start with operations. Well, really, Operations does a number of things. Now, they transform the inputs, so the raw materials, into outputs, which is uh, sellable products. Now, those products are made um, and sold uh, based on what the customers actually need and want. Okay, there's no point in businesses making red t-shirts if all the market research done in the marketing function says that they want blue t-shirts okay so the the operations functions um job is to really take on board uh what people need and want um and look at ways of of um satisfying that through their product design through their quality controls as well um now operations however can't buy things um and um, and transform them if they don't have any money. So the operations function uh, needs funds to actually buy its inputs as well, it requires funds to purchase the inputs, and it requires trained staff as well. Um, there's no way they can work if, um, or you know, process uh, those raw materials if the workers they have uh, don't actually know what they're doing. Um, in marketing, for example, as well, now, as mentioned in operations, um, market research, they need to determine what customers actually need and want through carrying out uh, surveys, looking for feedback, interviews, market research, what do customers need and want? And then they feed that back to operations and say, people want this product, um, you know, by this time of the year or by this, uh, you know, season, you need to do something um, to make that work. And operations needs to do that because in the end, if they don't make any products that customers need or want, then they're not selling any products, then they're not making any money. Uh, the marketing department also promotes products in a variety of ways, um, through different ways of advertising, through other promotional um, uh, experiences and activities. Um, and through selling those products, uh, from the promotions, um, they generate revenue um, from the products that they sell that was made by the operations function. So you can already see, just with these two, how uh, interrelated they are, okay? Um, and again, just like the operations function, marketing also requires trained staff that know what they're doing. Uh, and finance, now, Finance, um, they actually obtain funds from uh, for the business from different sources, be they banks, finance companies, credit unions, um, you know, shareholders. Uh, so when the business needs money to buy um, raw materials, to carry out promotional, um, uh, promotional activities, they need the money. And it comes from uh, a number of sources and that's where finance comes in. Um, they then take that money and provide the funding uh, for the business uh, for the different business uh, departments uh, so they can operate. Okay. They also maintain business records in line with uh, legisl uh, legislative requirements to make sure that everything is you know everything's above board as well. Um, and just like all the other functions as well, they also need trained staff. They need trained accountants or trained. Um, uh, train tax agents or something, um, you know, some sort of qualification for them to actually carry out their finance role. Um, now, the money, essentially, the money that um, operations um, uses to buy products is then hopefully recouped um, from uh, the selling of it, which is really what marketing does through their promotional uh, promotional activities. So the more they sell, the more money then filters back into the finance department, uh, allowing that money to then again be moved into other departments. It's a circular flow almost. 
Uh, and then finally, human resources. They acquire, they train, and they maintain the qualified staff that allow themselves and the other KBFs, the other key business functions, to actually function properly. Um, without them, uh, the other functions really don't work because there's no one actually being hired or being trained or being paid to carry out work. Um, now, the maintenance of staff is carried out through monetary and non-monetary ways, and one way that they uh, the monetary really comes from finance. Um, the finance department needs to have the money to be able to actually pay the workers, um, and that money generally will come from the profits uh, or made, or the revenue, sorry, made through selling the products via marketing that the operations department made. So in reality, what you find is that these functions all actually work together in order to achieve the business goals. If one function isn't working efficiently or effectively, then the other three really do suffer and ultimately then the entire business suffers. If operations isn't making products, marketing has nothing to promote, meaning that the company has nothing to sell, meaning that the finance department isn't really uh, obtaining any new money, meaning that uh, costs need to be uh, uh, cut, uh, staff may need to be let, uh, let go of, so the human resources then activates the separation stage of the human resource cycle. Um, you know, workers might, you know, lose morale, they might leave. Um, the quality of the products then suffers, leading to um, leading to a lack of sales, meaning that, again, uh, there's less money coming into the business. So, as you can see, they all work together, and they all need to be working efficiently and effectively for the business to uh, maintain its goals. Um, so, I hope this video has given you enough information um, in order to come to an understanding of how the interdependence uh, works for the four key business functions. Thank you for watching.